fire box, you have seen about magnesium ribbon burning, white bright flame. So, means after you have initiated the process, you do not need to do anything, the reaction itself proceeds and at the end, what you have is product. That's a spontaneous reaction and that reaction which has gone to, we will say, completion because at the end, we will be having mostly out of 100%, almost 99% products. But when the reaction is at equilibrium, you have already been using the sign. That means you have at any point of time some amount of reactant and some amount of product. Okay. So, all this you have already done, but my question to you is, this equilibrium which you have been talking about so long, is it static or dynamic? Do you know these two words? No. Do you know the English meaning of these two words? Yes. Okay, then let's have the English meaning. What is static? <laughs> Yeah, means it's standing, okay? So it's like... Alright, and dynamic, in motion. So when, suppose, let us take this reaction only, that you are saying that this reaction reaches an equilibrium, and at equilibrium you are having PCl5, PCl3, and Cl2, all three. Now does it mean that the reaction here stops and you are having PCl5, PCl3 and Cl2. Okay, that's good. Yes, it's no. Then what happens? You're right. It's all of them are there. But are the reactions have stopped or something is happening? The reaction has stopped. PCl5, some of it has Decompose to PCl3 and Cl2. Finish? The reaction has stopped. Is it static? No. No. You're right. You can say it loud. No. <laughs> but then what hap what's happening then? Excellent. So they're getting again combined and forming PCl5. That means that the molecules which are there, the reactant and the product molecules, they are in dynamic state. Means continuously the reactant molecules, they decompose to give. That means decompose means what? The bonds are breaking. The five bonds of chlorine to phosphorus is breaking down and we are getting PCl3 and Cl2. At the same time, PCl3 and Cl2 form is also combining to form Cl5. So the equilibrium which we talk about is always dynamic, not static. This is the meaning of dynamic. Okay, in motion. So because we say that the rate of forward reaction is equal to the rate of backward reaction. That is so if there is rate, if there is speed, that means the speed at which forward reaction is taking place, at the same speed, the backward also takes place. And that's why at any point of time, if you find out what is the concentration, you'll find the concentration does not change. Okay? And that is why there is an equilibrium constant. Because the rate of forward reaction and the rate of backward reaction is same. Now from here we move on to the next level and that is by Le Chatelier. So you have to remember this name which will be very important. <laughs> can I, can I uh, uh, join that? Just oh, yeah. 